man. Always good seeing you, man. How's the family? How's it feel being an uncle? Every, <laughs> being an uncle's great. Being an uncle's great. Thanks, Rudy. It's so, it's so good to see you, man. And uh, you know, this brings back memories because ten years ago, Tiff, we were talking about another hockey film, Breakaway, that I was involved in, and now we're talking about Black Ice a decade later, which is a very, very different film. Uh, it's a documentary. It's a very powerful documentary. Um, it's just such an honor to be to be here again and, and talking to you and just seeing old friends. I mean, cinema's back, movies are back, the festival's back. It, it feels great. You know, it's always a pleasure speaking with you, but this film here, I think, is probably your most important. Why did you decide to take on this task? Because, especially now, people are craving for this kind of history, proper history, to be told. This is... Um, Look, I mean, I, I can say this proudly as a producer. This is definitely, I think, the most important film I'm ever going to make in my career. I mean that. But I think it's one of the most important films to come out of Canada in a really long time. Um, this film talks about race. Uh, it talks about racism. It talks about um, systemic racism in a way that's really unique, in a way that's really powerful, in a way that may make you feel uncomfortable. It may make you ask questions. But I think that's really important. Uh, look, we all love hockey. We all pride ourselves in it. You know, we, 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 we treat it like our national sport in a way, it's a religion. But we also have to reflect and understand that there are cultural problems in the sport. And we can't shy away from that. And if we as Canadians pride ourselves in, in our love for hockey and let it define us, but we know that there are cultural problems, well then what does that say about us as Canadians? So, you know, the film, uh, I don't want to say too much, uh, but uh, I'm just super honored. Uh, a big thank you to TIFF. And, uh, you know, we'll see you guys very soon. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, though, how grateful were the players that you did have a chance to speak with for them to be able to tell their story in their work? Well, look, they were, they were very grateful, but we were very grateful. I want to thank everybody that contributed to this film, all the players. We're grateful to them because at the end of the day, they had to come out and talk about incidents that are not easy to reflect on. Uh, moments in their life that changed them, that changed their outlook in life, that made them question their place in the game and society. So I'm grateful to the players, I'm grateful to everybody who was a part of this film. Last question. Yes. Is Optic Happy going to get to a series yet? What is going on with this? Alright, I will say this, there is some very special Dr. Cabby news coming. Uh, it's very different than the film. Um, but yeah, we're we're, we're definitely taking the concept and doing something very unique and something very special. Oh, I know. Yeah. Brother, always great talking. Congratulations. Congratulations so on having this film here at TIFF. Especially, you're actually working with a friend of mine, aren't you? Oh, is that right? Yeah. Is Vinay a friend of yours? Yeah. Yes. No, he's, yeah, he's a great producer. He got me into the project at the very beginning. So, uh, yeah, we're very uh, excited to get it out there for audiences to see it. You know, he's an uh, amazing person, amazing actor, amazing filmmaker. We already know he's dealt with hockey before in the yeah, past. Right. Let's talk immediately. What is this called film called and what is it about? So Black Ice is basically about the black experience in hockey. Um, and we go back and we actually do the untold story of the Coloured Hockey League, which existed uh, at the turn of the century out in the east coast of Canada. And then we also talk about uh, current players and their experience and things that they face uh, within the sport of hockey. How important was this for you to get this film made? I know for myself, especially during Black History Month, I've been learning more and more about this. In fact, I even been, I've been actually trying to look for jerseys from these teams and stuff like that. How important was it for you? You to to be able to make this film. Uh, it's so important, you know. As a as a Black Canadian, we really want to see our own experience represented, and also these stories that we don't know and we don't tell enough. I think that's the other key part of it. And uh, so I was excited to learn about it as much as I was to share it, which is always you know exciting for a documentary. I haven't seen it yet, but do we get a chance to talk to some of the former players? We do, yeah. So we talked to former players about their experiences, uh, some players who are coming up right now and really kind of showing this kind of through line from all the way back to the beginning of hockey to right now and how the black experience has always really been in hockey. What are you hoping that fans are going to get from this film? I think, I, I hope it just opens up their, their minds a bit, um, maybe gets uh, to see some of the black contribution that's always been there. I think that would just be really interesting for people to, to know that they didn't know before. And I'm hoping because of this film, we're going to get those jerseys. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it.